In this video, I'm going to show you how to dub your voice in multiple languages. And the benefit of this is, let's say, for example, you speak only English and you want to reach users around the world and you want to dub your voice, let's say from English to Spanish or English to Hindi or English to Italian, whatever it is. And you can do that through this feature in the application, which allows you to dub your voice. How this works is very simple. So all you need to do is you go to create audio, okay? Which you're very familiar with. Now, in the create audio, you give it a name. So let's say, for example, now I want to just create a name where I want to create a Spanish version of a voice, correct? So all you need to do is you give it a name and then you select a voice. You see this select a voice. Now you can select a clone voice. You can select, say, one of the system voices. So let's say, for example, you can go to system voices. You can go to clone voices, whatever, right? And then you go and select a voice like so. And then the original language of this voice is English and you just uh, get it to translate to Spanish, okay? And the way you have to do it to make it work is you need to have a script ready beforehand, okay? Basically what we're doing is we're translating this script effectively uh, or alternatively, okay, you can even generate that, uh, paste that script in that language as well if you're familiar, obviously, but if you're familiar with the script, why would you need dubbing, right? So the better way is, let's say, that, for example, you don't speak Spanish, you don't really know how to write in Spanish, which is probably the case why you want to do dubbing, then basically you would just select the translate to Spanish, and then you would generate the script. Let's say the topic is about, uh, for example, ketogenic diet benefits for weight loss, as an example, okay? And then let's say this is an educational for educational uh, stuff. And then we click uh, generate. So now what's happening is the script is getting generated for us, correct? So while the script is getting generated, now what we're really doing is let's say this is the script, right? All we have to do is hit the translate button. Okay, you see this translate button. And then um, when you hit that, it's going to translate the script. Okay, so you, there we go. So as you can see here, how we translated the script. So now what happens is you go to create new audio. Okay. Boom. There we go. It's generated the whole text and everything in Spanish. As you can see here, even the language has been changed to Spanish. You see? So this is how you'd want to do it. And you can see here, you can go back to adding happy, sad, angry, or whatever emotional style. You can even add expressions and stuff in Spanish. And again, you can play around with it as you would normally do. Even you're happy with this approach or you want to make any changes if you want to, you can just click on the generate audio and then your project will be created in that language. So in other words, what did we do so far? Let's just uh, basically uh, discuss this. Initially, I started with my language, which was English, correct? So I am, uh, my original language was English. And then what I did is I dubbed it, right, uh, in Spanish, okay? And the voice will sound uh, sort of like you, okay? Of course, it won't be perfect because, see, for example, if you have a very in Americanized English accent and it got dubbed into Spanish, then it's going to look it's going to focus more towards pronunciation and perfection than similarity, right? So maybe if you were to speak Spanish fresh, you would have a very heavy American accent uh, for Spanish, for example. But when we actually work on it, we want to make sure that a native Spanish speaker will actually understand it and not think it's basically uh, spoken by someone who doesn't know how to speak Spanish, let's say. You see what I'm saying? So rather than the similarity, we focus more on the pronunciation, the clarity, and all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, this is how dubbing is done. The beauty here is that it allows you to basically let's say clone a voice or use one of the system voices or whatever and have it dubbed into multiple languages again using the translation feature and you can now generate the audio and create it in any pretty much any of the supported languages that we have so hope you found this video helpful and uh, look forward to seeing you on the other videos